All right, thanks guys. Welcome to the show. Got some lines for Sunday's MLB action. But before we get into that, I just want to give a quick shout out, a big thank you to my headline sponsor for today's program. That's Jimmy and the boys at ghostpicksats.com. And if you like making money on sports, there's no reason why you shouldn't check out one or more of their very affordable money-making packages. That's Jimmy and the boys at ghostpicksats.com. That's ghostpicksats.com. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at our Sunday slate of baseball games and personal leans. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And leading off, we got O's Blue Jays, 107 Toronto. And no surprises here as the Jays are taking money in the early going here. They open a dollar ninety up to two oh five totals nine flat and pitching wise we're looking at Kashner for the O's Hap for the Jays and speaking of the Jays real good in these types of spots seventy one percent in their games at the current money line odds they're also taking on a Baltimore team who's won just five of eighteen when Andrew Kashner makes the first pitch now total wise six out of nine head to head matchups between these teams stayed under the line. Meanwhile, on the Baltimore side of things, Kashner starts went 14 and 4 to the under in his 18 starts on the year. So all that's said and done, I'm going to go ahead and take the Blue Jays run line in the under nine flat. All right, next game, Pirates Reds. That's 110 Cincinnati, and the Reds were a dollar 20 down to a dollar 15. Total was nine and a half down to nine flat, and 63 percent are still leaning. Uh, toward the Reds. Now, pitching-wise, we're looking at Nova for the Buccos, Harvey for the Reds, but despite being the favorite in this one, the Cincy team has struggled with Pittsburgh, winning just four of 12 head-to-head matchups with the Pirates. We're also looking at a Pittsburgh ball club who's 22-13 and in their games, taking on losing ball clubs. Now, total-wise, since he's gone 29 and 20 to the over at the Great American Small Park. So all those stats in mind, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the underdog Pirates catching the plus money in the over. Nine flat. Next game, Red Sox Tigers. That's 110 Detroit and a little 35 cent fade of the Red Sox in the early going here. They're still 305. They open 340 down the 305. Total open 8.5 down to 8 flat. And at the moment, we got Chris Sale for Boston, Blaine Hardy for Detroit. And speaking of Detroit, they've really struggled in many categories when it comes to the trends, including their 3-12 record versus teams allowing less than 4 runs per contest. They're also taking on a Boston team who's 26-9 as the official road favorite. Now, scoring-wise, all five of these teams' head-to-head matchups stayed under the line. Meanwhile, on the Detroit side of things, they're 11-4 and to the under versus teams allowing less than four runs per contest. So with all those factors in mind, I'm going to lean toward Boston run line in the under. Eight flat. All right, next game, Braves-Nationals. 135 Nationals uh, Park in the nation's capital. And a 25 cent fade of the Nats in the early going here as Washington opened 235 down to 210. Total was 7.5 up to 8 flat. And pitching wise, we're looking at Mike Fultonavich for the Braves, Max Scherzer for the Nats. But despite opening this one up as the favorite, this Nationals team has won just 4 of 11 head to head matchups with the Braves. And scoring wise, lots of unders between these two teams. Nine and two to the under in these teams' head to head matchups. So, with all those trends in mind, I'm going to go ahead and take the underdog Braves catching the plus money and the under eight flat. All right, next game Dodgers Brewers 210 Milwaukee. Los Angeles opened $1.40 down to $1.20. Total open eight and a half down to eight flat. Now, pitching-wise, we're looking at Alex Wood for the Dodgers, Brent Suter for the Brewers. Now, the Brewers are taking on a Dodgers team who finished out the first half strong, winning four out of their last five ballgames and taking one of two in this very series. Now, total-wise, 12-5 and to the over in these Chase Anderson starts. Meanwhile, on the other side, Alex Wood starts went 12-7 and to the over on his side of things as well. 
So all those stats and info in mind, I'm going to go ahead and take the Dodgers outright and the over eight flat. All right, next game, Twins Royals 215 Kansas City. And much to my surprise, we're seeing a five cent fade of Minnesota in the early going here. The Twins open 135 down to 130. Total open nine flat up to nine and a half. And at the moment, we've got Jake Odorizzi for the Twins, Brad Keller for the Royals. And speaking of the Royals, they really struggled in their games at the current market price. They're running just 31% of their ball games at the current money line odds. KC's also been terrible at Kauffman Stadium, winning just 8 of 38 ball games as the official home underdog. Now, scoring wise, 5 and 3 to the over in these teams' 8 head to head matchups. So, with all those numbers in mind, I'm going to go ahead and take the Twins' money line in the over 9.5. Next game, Cards, Cubs, 220 Wrigley, as the Cubbies are the dollar forty favorites. Totals at 8 flat and 61% are still leaning toward the Cubbies. Now, pitching-wise, we're looking at Miles Miklas for the Cards, Jose Quintana for the Cubbies. And speaking of Chicago, really good at home this year, 28-15 and as the official home favorite. We're also looking at a record of 9-3 and to the over in these teams' head-to-head matchups. So with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and take the Cubbies, minus 140, winning this one outright for some money line cash. And the over, 8 flat. Next game, Indians Rangers 305 Arlington, Texas. Cleveland Open 160 down to 155. Total was 11 up to 11 and a half. 77% are still leading Cleveland. And at the moment, we got Mike Clevinger for the Indians. Giovanni Gallardo, excuse me, for the Rangers. And speaking of the Rangers, 4 and 1 in their games where Gallardo made the start. They're also taking on a Cleveland squad who's won just 8 of 19 when Clevinger makes the first pitch for the Indians. Now, scoring-wise, 5-0 and to the over in these teams' five head-to-head matchups. Meanwhile, Texas has gone 5-0 and to the over in their games where Gallardo makes the start as well. So with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the underdog Rangers catching the plus money and the over 11 and a half. Next game, Giants A's 405 Oakland and a 10 cent move toward the A's in the early action here. Oakland open $1.30 up to $1.40. Total was eight flat up to eight and a half. And at the moment, we are looking at Johnny Cueto for San Fran, Sean Manea for Oakland. And speaking of Oakland, pretty good when Manea makes the start. 12 and 8 when Sean makes the first pitch. The A's are also 17-9 and nine in their games as the official home favorite. Now, total-wise, we're looking at 13-7 and seven to the under in Manea's 20 starts this season. We're also looking at 4-1 and one to the under in these teams' five head-to-head matchups. So all those figures in mind, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the A's outright and the under 8.5. Next game, Astros-Angels, 407, the big A. Houston opened a dollar forty down to a dollar twenty-five. Total was eight up to eight and a half. And at the moment, we are looking at McCullers for the Astros, Heaney for the Angels. And speaking of the Angels, they've really struggled in their games at the current market price. Just twenty-two percent in their games at the current money line odds. They're also taking on an Astros squad who's been absolute road warriors this year, thirty-two and fourteen in their games away from home. Now, scoring-wise, five out of six head-to-head matchups between these two teams stayed under the line. Meanwhile, on the Houston side of things, they've gone, uh, excuse me, scratch that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take the Astros run line and the under, eight and a half. Yeah. Next game, Rockies, Diamondbacks, 410, Arizona. The D-backs are $1.70, total seven and a half. 72% 72% are leaning Arizona. And at the moment, we got Sensatella for Colorado, Zach Granke for Arizona. And speaking of Arizona, they've gone 12 and 8 in their games where Zach Granke made the start. Now, total wise, Arizona's 30% to the under at home when the line was 7.5. Meanwhile, on the other side, Colorado's 36% to the under on the road when the line was 7.5 themselves. So, with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and take the D backs run line. And the under, seven and a half.
Next game, White Sox, Mariners, 410 Seattle. And no surprises here as Seattle's the $2 favorites. Totals nine flat. 75% are leaning toward the Mariners. And at the moment, we got Ronaldo Lopez for the White Sox, Marco Gonzalez for the Mariners. And speaking of Seattle, they're virtually unbeatable at home, 21 and 7 as the official home favorite. They're also taking on a Chicago team who's lost 13 of 19 games when Lopez made the start. Now, total wise, Gonzalez starts went just 7 and 12 to the over so far on the year. Meanwhile, on the Chicago side of things, 4 and 1 to the over in their head to head matchups with Seattle. So, with all that data in mind, I'm going to go ahead and take the Mariners run line in the under nine flat. Next game, Padres, Phillies, 605 South Philly. That's a second of a double dip and a 10 cent move toward the Fightins in the early going here. Philly open $1.65 up to $1.75. Totals nine flat. 81% are leaning Philly. And at the moment, we got Louis Perdomo for the pods, Vinny Velasquez for the Fightins. And speaking of the Fightins, real good in these types of spots here. 10 and 2 in their games at the current market price. They're also taking on a San Diego squad who's lost six of seven ball games where Louis Perdomo made the start. Now, total wise, Philly's just set uh, 9 and 17 to the over when taking on losing ball clubs. So, all those trends in mind, I'm going to go ahead and take the Phillies run line in the under nine flat. All right, next and final game for the show, it is going to be the Subway Series Mets Yankees 805 in the Bronx. And no surprises here as we're seeing a 10 cent move toward the Bombers in the early going here. The Yankees opened 165 up to 175. Total was eight and a half down to eight flat. And at the moment, we got Jacob deGrom for the Mets, Masahiro Tanaka for the Yankees. And speaking of the Bombers, real good in their games at Yankee Stadium, 32-12 and 12 in their games as the official home favorite. Now, total-wise, we're looking at just 7-12 and 12 to the over for the Mets when deGrom makes the start. So all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the Yankees' run line in the under, 8 flat. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I just have to remind you to check out my daily best play at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented win percentage of 60% for the entire year of 2017, you're hurting yourself each and every day you're not subscribed. I also want to remind you to check out my headline sponsor. That's Jimmy and the Boys at GhostPicksATS.com. Jimmy and his team of young, hungry, expert consultants at Ghost Picks are the most passionate in the business. And if you thought I was good at handicapping games, these guys are amongst the best in the industry. And as always, thank you for watching today's program. I hope you enjoyed all this great free information. And please don't forget to check out my daily best play at patreon.com slash brockpage.